Welcome back, friends. Lost Guy here, and it's time for Professor Layton and the Lost Future. Continue. Let's see what the recap is this time. Here. The story so far. Luke and Layton finally come face to face with future Luke in the Gilded Seven Casino. There, after learning of the crisis threatening London, they are suddenly attacked by the family. Following their narrow escape, Leighton and Luke accompany future Luke to a restaurant in town. And that's where we are. The Enigmatic Future. Alright, here we go! Hey, didn't we save after this point? Or did I forget to save? I forgot to save after this point, huh? Oops! Go. Yeah, because we talked to this guy. I can't believe I forgot the save after that point. Oops. Okay, so now... Now we're back on track. Back to newspaper guy. Have you been, fellas? Word is there was a shootout at the Gilded Seven Casino. Wow, what's that in the paper? <laughs> wow, that's in the paper already? Seems some nutters went in there and tried to run off with the day's profits. When the casino security staff caught them red-handed, the place turned into the Wild West. What? But that's not how it happened at all. Oh now, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just telling you what the paper says. Well, the paper's wrong. Oh yeah? How do you know you're not the one who's wrong? But Professor, why would the paper print lies? I hate to say this, but I think the family controls the press here. The papers print what they're told to. Yeah, it's Rupert Murdoch all over again. Go here! Oh, not there. Go here? Yeah, here. There, it's right there. Okay. Look, there's the restaurant! Is this the place you had in mind, Big Luke? Yes, this is the one! Let's head in! Of course, there's a guy in the way. Ugh, uh. Wow, you look terrible. What happened? Yeah, I'm in the right state, to be honest with you. Bostro just came in by with all guns blazing. Oh dear, that's awful. You're telling me. You kept ha banging on about some brat who got into the casino. That brat wouldn't happen to be you, would it? M me? Oh no, I wouldn't dream of going in an awful place like that. Good, I was afraid I was going to have to teach you a lesson for being so daft. And I really ain't in a, no shape for teaching right now, so, as you can see. Uh, I just don't get that Buster. He's always losing his rag for no reason. Going in. Luke, do you see that man in black over there? Does he look familiar to you? Yes, he's the one who brought us the letter. Your letter. Uh, talk to him first. Welcome, fellas. If you're looking for the best home-cooked meal in London, you've come to the right place. Fantastic. What do you recommend? I'm glad you asked. There's nothing I like better than an ent uh, enthusiastic customer. First things first, my fish and chips are award-winning. There's none better, I mean better. What kind of Englishman could say no to that, eh? Not me, that's for sure. I love fish and chips. And if you fancy something warming on cold on a cold day, I've got you covered. My lamb stew with crispy potatoes will have you licking your chops. And the lambs, too! <laughs> I'm sold, I have both. Don't get carried away now, Luke. The food sounds wonderful, but we didn't come here to eat, did we? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, sir. We have business to attend to. I'll order something later, though. <laughs> of course, little fella. You have good thi You have a good think about which dish suits you. Both still. I don't see any more dialogue. Oh, Luke says he'll have the everything. Whoops, right, let's do this. Sorry to keep you waiting, Shipley. I don't remember the voice I gave him earlier, so new voice. Not at all. 
I just got here a minute ago. You've met... You, you've all met before, but I don't think you were properly introduced. This is my good friend, Shipley. He has played a vital role in bringing you and little Luke here to our time. Pleased to meet you, Shipley. I'm losing voices, I can already tell. I gotta get these voices mixed up better. Or mixed apart better. Likewise, Professor. Sorry I had to be so brief with you when we last met. Luke here told me I shouldn't share any details until he had the chance to speak to you himself. Don't give it any th Don't give it another thought. Luke needed to test us before sharing the details of his plan. Shipley, did you manage to do some reconnaissance work in Chinatown, as I asked? Certainly did, Luke. That healthy... That filthy scumbag Leighton... Er, apologies, Professor. I'm talking about the evil Leighton, of course. The Professor is aware of the situation. Do continue. Right. You know the towering pagoda in Chinatown? Evil Leighton is holding them captured. Scientists there, and... Apparently... He's got them working like slaves on something or other. So the scientists are in the tower in Bagoda. That's going to make things very difficult. I heard another peculiar rumor while I was about. Yes? Word has it that the Prime Minister who disappeared ten years ago is being held up there too. What? Oh, well, here we go. Bill Hawks. We didn't die. He got explode transported. He's been missing ever since the daily accident. It's been ten years now. Do you suppose evil Leighton might have abducted the Prime Minister as well as those scientists? We won't know until we check the facts for sure. For, for ourselves. Big Luke, you seem apprehensive at the mention of the Towering Pagoda. What is this place? Towering Pagoda is the family stronghold situated among a sea of warehouses in Chinatown. To complicate matters, all, the, all of Chinatown is under family control. Which means it'll be difficult just to get within walking distance. Be that as it may, we need to uncover the truth. Can you guide us safely to the Pagoda? Hmm. Infiltrating a place like that is going to require a bit of preparation. Why don't we split up for a bit and I'll see if I can secure us a safe route there. You go on and head for Chinatown without me. Shipley will tell you how to get there far. To get that far, all right? Very well. Good. Now I need. Now I need to get moving. Be careful out there. Thank God, because I was blowing these voices. Crikey! He didn't have leave in a hurry. We need to get to Chinatown, Shipley. What's the best way to get there? Let's see. Your best bet is to head back to Flatstone Street. As you head north towards the casino, there's a small set of stairs to the right. Do you know the ones I mean? Ah, yes. Now that you mention it, I do recall passing by an area that fits its description. Good. Head up them stairs and follow the narrow alley to the, at the top until you hit a path above the river. From there, just follow that path and it'll take you to straight into Chinatown. You're not coming with us, Shipley? I wish I could, but I've got to stay here and wait for a word from your old si older self. Very well. Thank you for your assistance, Shipley. Come, Luke. We mustn't tarry here. Be careful out there. If you run into any trouble, you can always find me here. Okay. No puzzles yet? Nope, no puzzle there. But here. Nope, no puzzle here. Oh, it's about new dialogue, new dialogue. You're not going to have a bite before you leave? That's a real shame, lad. I don't mean to twist the knife, but you're missing out on the finest lamb you'll ever dig a fork into. If I could stay, I would. Believe me, next time I'm here, I'm more than for two. Haha. <laughs> no puzzles anywhere? Really, no puzzles. Move on. Nothing new with this guy. I gotta stop playing this game late. Okay, let's go over here. It's a little boy! Hey, listen to this. I came across a brilliant puzzle the other day. Want to hear it? A new puzzle, eh? 
Where'd you find it, mate? Where'd you find it, Max? It's a secret, but if you saw the puzzle, I'll tell you. What do you say? Wanna try it? Sure. Alright, here we go. No go arrows. Oh Jesus. Go from the start point in the top left to the green flag in the bottom right. Moving horizontally or vertically. Remember, you can't move in the direction the arrows are pointing. You can't go over the same square twice. Can you make it to the green flag? Bet you square that you pass along the way, then submit the answer. Okay. Nope, not that way. No, that's a dead end here. Dead end. Dead. This is a, this is a dead zone right here. So not there. How's about here? Nope, dead end. But let's work backwards. Let's work backwards. This is the answer right here. We have to go here. So we have to go here. And what the fooch? Here, 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 here. No. Yeah. Yeah, that goes there. Now, the only one that can go here is this one. The only one that can go here is this one. The only one that can go here is this one. The only one that can go here is this. The only one that can go here is this. The only one that can go here is this. The only one that can go here is this. The only one that can go here is this. The only one that can go here is this. Then the only one that can go here is this. This, 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 there. There it is. Okay, don't submit. Here's my answer. Got it. Oh yeah. Stop Layton's apprentice. I'm noticing there's a lot more dialogue than puzzles right now. Reached it. Got it. Ding ding ding. Correct. So where did so where did you find that nice puzzle? You're going to tell me now, aren't you? Ding ding ding. Correct. I found it by touching a suspicious looking spot. A suspicious looking spot? Ding ding ding. Yeah, if something looks a little fishy. Let's poke it a, a bit of a poke. Just give it a bit of a poke. If you're lucky, a hint coin or puzzle will appear out of thin air. Wow! That's amazing! Yeah. Yeah, you need a sharp eye, though. Those hidden items could be anywhere. If you touch an area and something happens well, you could say that's a good sign. What kind of thing might happen? Oh, you know, maybe you'll see a splash of water or a puff of, of d dust. See something like that. Touch that same spot again. You never know what you might find. Okay. Alright. Let's get going. Get going here. Do, 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 do. Here. And here. There? It's it towards the casino, right? Oh, cutscene! Huh? Gonna be her again? It's her again, yup! Um. Is it a dead woman? Here you go. What's this now? Open it and see. His hat. You yep. a hat? <laughs> For the newly appointed professor. Congratulations. Thank you. 
You're a fully fledged member of the academic community now. So you've got to look the part. We never see his hair. <laughs> Very dashing, Herschel. The picture of a true gentleman. A true gentleman? Hmm. Hmm? No, leave it on. It suits you. It really does. So no taking it off. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I didn't realize how late it was. I have to go to the lab. We're running a very important experiment today. Let's continue the celebration over dinner tonight. Oh, and promise me you'll wear the hat. It's not your usual style, but keep an open mind. After all, isn't that what a gentleman does? Uh, she's gonna die, isn't she? Or she disappears. <laughs> she dies or disappears? Hmm. Did you see that, Professor? That was the same woman we saw earlier, wasn't it? I... I suppose. You seem distracted, Professor. Are you alright? What's that? Oh, I'm fine, Luke. Absolutely fine. If you say so, Professor. Hey, look, I bet these are the stairs Shipley mentioned. I could have sworn that was Claire. But that's impossible. Where it has it that the Prime Minister who disappeared ten years ago is being held up there, too. That's what he's thinking about. Perhaps that's what happened when the Prime Minister was abducted ten years ago. Perhaps he was sent to the future as we were. What if all this talk of time travel is real? If so, then maybe that really was Claire. No, it defies all logic. Claire can't be here, not after that day. Number nine, okay. A woman who looks uncannily like Professor's old sweetheart, Claire, is wandering around town. Who could she be? Yeah, alright. Go! Do you suppose that brown statue depicts some sort of local hero? I'm gonna have a quick look. What? Is that just a really bad statue of Leighton? Oh look, Professor! The man in the statue has the same hand as you! Haha, <laughs> so he does. If I'm the man in the statue, does that make you that boy there? Hmm, well I suppose he looks a bit like me. Oh, there's a description of the statue here, let's see. It seems a friend here was some sort of famous author. An author, you say? Not a professor? Imagine if he was. Now that would be a coincidence. Let's see what else it says. The author used to write big, complicated books, but all that changed because of this boy. The boy was ill, and to cheer him up, the man wrote an adventure novel for, all, for people of all ages. I suppose that book was so successful that he went on to write more of them. What a heartwarming story. Oh, but that's not all, Professor. Look, I read you the rest. In the end, the little boy was taken by his illness. Ah. Uh, however, the extraordinary friendship between the author and the boy would last forever. I can't believe how sad that ending is. There, there, it's not all bad, my boy. It sounds as if the two found true friendship in each other. Some people go through their whole lives without experiencing such a thing. I suppose so. It's still terribly sad, though. Look here, it says, In memory of an extraordinary and everlasting friendship. Wouldn't it be wonderful if our friendship grew to those heights? Luke! Luke! The little boy dies! I don't think Luke wants to think about it that way. What do you mean, if? Our friendship is already extraordinary and everlasting. Now, now, Luke, I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers. You're right, we were very... Good for we we were oh, we're very good friends. You're not upset, are you? Me upset? Of course not. Anyway, I think we should move on. Oh dear. Oh, Layton's in the doghouse. Oh, puzzle. You know this statue here reminds you of a puzzle. Precisely. Here, give this one a try. Every time with the puzzles. Broken lance. Here is a photo of four knights with lances. One of the lances is broken, but it was repaired with string just before the photo was taken. 
Whose lance is it? Of course, all the lances were originally straight. So we have a... What? How do you know which one's broken? Oh, it's a visual trick. Okay. Let's just draw it. It doesn't work if I'm adjusting to do it. I do not have a, a good hand. Try that again. I'd say it's C or B. See? Here's my answer. Let's see. There we go. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. There it is. It's just barely slightly off. Jeez. Spot on. It's easy to spot the kink in Night Sea's Lance if you look at it diagonally from the bottom. Okay. There we go. Wonderful work. You're really getting quite good at this, Luke. No, nothing more. Coin! Coin! Look at his teeth! It's official, I'm a genius! Just listen to this puzzle I thought up, it's a real gem! That's it, right. Brothers and sisters, here we go. There are three siblings, A, B, and C. I have one older brother and three younger sisters. I have two older brothers and two y wait, they're siblings. Oh, okay, they're not all girls, I was just saying. I have two older brothers and two younger sisters. I have three older brothers and one younger sister. Given that all these statements are true, which is the lowest possible number of siblings in this family? What? This is five, this is five, this is also five. There's, there's five. I don't understand. It's... isn't it... isn't it five? Oh no, it has to be six! You see, three brothers, three sisters. It has to be six. Six. Not a, not a zero, a six. Not a zero! There we go. I have one older brother and three younger sisters. I have two older brothers and two younger sisters. I have three older brothers and one younger sister. It's not six. It's not six. Eight? An eight? Eight or seven. Seven, seven, seven. That's not a one. Is oh, you're killing me. I've got a good feeling about this one. Don't oh, uh, so it's eight, so it's eight, so it's eight. So well, it's eight. if at first you don't succeed, it's got to be eight. So it's eight. So it's eight. Oh no, it's siblings, so six. It's six. Yeah, it's six. Okay. It's them including the others, well, so it's six. If at first you don't succeed. I think. Or is it four? Maybe it's four? Let's see if I've got this right. I was six all along. <laughs> Just as I suspected. I feel smart. Hang on, the lowest possible number of siblings is six. At first glance, it may seem like there are only five. The fact that A says that he has three younger sisters means there must be at least three female siblings. Likewise, the fact that C says three brothers. Yeah. So I did get it right from the start. I was just overthinking because I thought they were talking about not including each other. 
We dissolved it. Hmm. You must have cheated. I don't talk to cheaters. Good day. Dick. <laughs> when day I'm going to be a professor of pathology. Then you will fear me. <laughs> okay. Shall we have a little break before going on? Oh, whoa. I've got a stone in my shoe. What? Why? Why? Why is that a thing? Go. Another top hat. Layman instead of Layton. A real man backs down from no puzzle. In fact, nothing delights him more than pursuing a solution. You there. You're a man, are you not? Well then, don't just stand there. Solve this puzzle. Why did I give him such a dramatic voice? The Mysterious Memu. You return to your flat to find a strange piece of paper next to your calculator. Your flatmate must have been trying to tell you something before he left. The note says 101x5. What word could your flatmate have been trying to convey to you with this mysterious memo? Word? Word? I think it was 505. Oh, is it SOS? I'm sending out an SOS. Is that, that it? That should do the trick. Also, you can do letters now? Oh my god. Yep. Well, that's settled. You got it. The message is SOS. When you went, so your flatmate was asking for help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 505 6006 T. Oh, no, 9009. Whichever. Like it. At last, an answer. You, sir, have proved beyond doubt that every puzzle has an answer. Excellent work, my good man. That's it. Just gave him a ridiculous voice. I keep such a good lookout that no one even dares to come near. Unfortunately, it leaves me with nothing to do. Looks like it's time to think up another puzzle. Okay. I need to remember that voice. I don't think we'll find anything that by rapture there. My word, what a foul odor. Coin. Is this really the way to Chinatown? It's awfully dirty and dark. Does this place frighten you, my boy? Me? Scared? No way. I just want to get to Chinatown. Let's go. There's no need to dash off, Luke. But do be careful. You could slip. Wow! Ow! Oh! Oh dear, what did I just tell you? Are you laughing at me, Professor? Laughing? No. Me? Certainly not. Are you quite alright? Of course I am. I just bumped my knee a little. I'll walk it off. Oh good. I was worried for a moment there. Let's go. And with that, Leighton, uh, Luke has typhus. Oh, puzzle! Perhaps it broke! Well, what do you expect when you go around prodding everything? But Professor, I wasn't prodding it that hard. Luke? I'm sorry, I should probably be more careful. Indeed you should. Now let's see what kind of damage you've caused here. What's this? I do believe this leads somewhere interesting. Let's have a look at what's on the other side. But isn't this trespassing, Professor? P Professor, wait wait for me. Oh my god, we're breaking in! Ah, so this is where it leads. Can we leave now, Professor? The casino staff won't be happy if they find us in here. Haha, <laughs> you worry too much, Luke. Maybe so, but I still think we should leave now. Puzzle! There you go. How very strange. I do believe we found a hidden puzzle. 149? Oh, this is gonna be hard. The hidden ones. Here are three strange symbols A, B, and C. If A is 63 and B is 89, what on earth could C be? You can take it for granted that C will be a two-digit number as well. Sixty-three, eighty-nine. Sixty-three, eighty-nine. C. 
6389. Why? What on earth could see me? I don't get it. Oh, hey, Dave. Damn, nine months in a row. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for the sub. Hope you're doing well. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Oh I got I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't I need hints. I need hints. I got no choice. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Think about the relationship between the symbols and the numbers. If you're using the memo function to write down the numbers, you'll need to write them in quite an angular way. Six Three? Is that the idea? Eight... And nine? I don't... I don't understand. Like a calculator. Okay, yeah, like a ca... I just, mm. Like, I see the three, I just don't see the six. I guess it'd be a four? It's just sixty-four? Because this side would be the six? Sixty-four. Nintendo sixty-four! I got nothing. Do the trick. Bah. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. Try looking at the symbols from a bit further away from a bit further away. Alright, from a bit further away. Far away I don't Like there's the little ones down here. I might be too dumb for this. Could be zero four. Like I see the four, but this is a six. How is this? Okay, let's try zero four. Oh four. Let's see if I've got this right. Bah. All right. I was sure my logic was sound. Ah, right, let's look at hints. Let's look at hints. Let's look at hints. Let's look at hints. Try tilting your head a little to the left and look at the symbols again. Five to ah, fifty two. Fifty two. Okay. Ah, uh, it's fifty two. Oh, or twenty five. Fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty two. Ah, uh, you got me. You got me. Fifty two. Or twenty five. Fifty two or twenty five. Do the trick. 
Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me with that. Just oh, as I wow. You gotta be kidding me with that one. The answer is 52. Yeah, you put it in the side, yeah. There it is. 63, 88, 9, 52. Oh yeah, calculator, yep. Oh jeez, 90 degree angle. Son of a beach! I suppose that takes care of that. Are puzzles anywhere? No, that puzzle reminds me of a puzzle. I need a lot of ca oh crap! This door seems to be locked. Moving out. Talk to this guy. Talk to that guy's got a chin. Hello there, little chappy. Have you ever been so bored you could keel over? I have. Why are you so bored? Well, I don't have anything to do. That's a big factor. But also, I've sort of lost my life, and now I can't find it. Uh, how does one lose one's life? It's his wallet. Or his phone. A while back, this fella tells me I can earn a few bob. Doing this cushy job. I was out of work at the time, so I thought, why not, you know? Makes sense. Yeah, I thought so too, until I realized I had been... Had. Fella threw me in a dark hole and had me digging all day and night. Looking like a dog I was. He puts his lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again? It sounds like whatever he was paying you wasn't worth it. I, I, I haven't even told you the worst bit of yet. I finally finished the job and I had home, yeah? But everything's been switched around while I'm in the hole and I can't find my home, house or my family. Oh my gosh, maybe you travel through time like us. Who, what, where now? I don't really follow. But I do know I've been out here on my own for a while now. The only thing I've got to pass the time are these puzzles I do. Here, try one. I thought leading him home was going to be a puzzle. Who's the tunnels? Ah, here we go. He dug some tunnels, but they've ended up looking like an ant farm. You have to connect A to A, B to B, and C to C, but you can't use the same t path twice. In order to do so, however, one of your connections must go above ground. Is this connection A, B, or C? The one has to go above ground? Let's see, okay. It's A, it's A, it's A. A, there we go. Here's my answer. No, I'm wrong. Let me think this through again. Okay, so at least we 50 50 percent chance. 50 50 chance we get it right next time. So okay, you can't use any of the same ground? Okay, I guess I was reading it wrong. Okay. B. There you go. <laughs> hmm. Just pick me. Son of a bitch, it's ah! I guess it's uh. to the drawing board. I'm not as smart as I'd like to think I am. It's. Ow! Five points left. It's C. Here's my answer. Son of a bitch. Phew. That's a relief. Uh, okay, let's see. So A goes here. Mm hmm. B goes. Jesus Christ. C goes. There, okay. Good job there, Chaffy. I can tell you're a thinker. You remind me of my son. Alright, know it all. He is, but he's a good boy, really. He used to love it when I give him puzzle. A puzzle to work on. I do wish I could see the little tyke again. Any more? I wish I could find my way back home. It'd be nice to see the family again. Alright. 
That wood has a distinctly moldy smell to it. Alright, okay, so that's it for today. Let's go ahead and save. Save it a do? We still had the parrot to do. So in that 40 minutes, we did nine puzzles. That we did more. No, wait. We did eight puzzles because we did one the other time. So there you go. That right there is the game for now. I had fun over watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Let's come by and see you next time. Bye.